Welcome to Chia 103, the advanced plotter and things. So basically, um, because we know there is a limitation on how quickly one computer can plot something, the best way to handle this approach is to, well, plot in parallel. And bringing that to its logical conclusion, we plot in parallel on multiple computers. The Chia has a way of doing that. So... If you have multiple Ryzen, you know, level machines, i7s, i9s, i5s, all of that stuff, and a ton of RAM, and NVMe drives, and you just got all this stuff laying around, and storage, because you gotta, stay all, you gotta store all these spots, then you can do this. And this is uh, on the ChiaFarmer.com, which popped up really, really fast because of the Chia hype, and this is very interesting to watch. Like, it's, it's very fun to watch an entire network and community, like, explode in the scene by crazy, crazy fast. But anyway, so, plotting on multiple Windows computers. Now, this is a great little article here that basically says, hey, uh, what we'll need is your farmer key and your pool key. And those are the keys that we would need in order to... Uh, make plots for you. So you can actually buy pre-done plotting. Now, as of today, the public price of a plot is about $20. That's a little high for my blood, uh, as I'm offering $10 per plot, and then there will be a reduction in price as time goes on, as network increases, because again, your profitability goes down. So yeah, we have to play this nice little juggling game where, yes, we have a lot of, you know, plotting power, but we also need to be able to make sense uh, financially, capitalize on the market. Obviously, it's going to be cheaper if you have the hardware already at home, that you just do that plotting and you go with it. But this is a great website that's going to show you how to basically do what I'm going to do, and that is how you can plot for an additional machine. So what you do is you take this command. You get you get these keys, only your public keys. Never, ever, 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 ever give a private key to anybody for any reason. Your private key is how I can drain your wallet. Now, all you need is the public keys because that's all I need in order to make plots for you. So once you have your farmer key, and pool key, I will be able to make plots, which is great. And then I can sell you those plots on a four terabyte drive or an eight terabyte drive or a 10 terabyte drive because we have a lot of power here that will be running in parallel. So if you have a lot of power where you are and you should be running it in parallel. And if you're not selling plot space, you really need to. Right now is a great time to jump into the market to do it. Now, at the same time, there's a lot of people who are probably watching this video going, holy cannoli, that's a lot of stuff I got to keep track of. And how can I do that? Well, that's where we come in. More than happy to plot your plots for you. So basically this one whole giant thing just space. It just became a commercial for me plotting your, your plots for you. But let me show you the impact of what that plotting speed actually buys. So we're going to go back to the Chia calculator here, right? So we can get an idea. So let's say that your plotting speed, right? We're gonna we're just gonna enter eight terabytes plotting speed because let's say you could do an entire terabyte drive, eight terabyte drive a day, right? So your initial size is zero because you don't have any plots yet, and let's say you've got sixteen terabytes that you need to be plotting, right? So we'll go terabytes and we'll go sixteen. Just gives you a rough estimate. Now let's say now. You can see here that our gain is 7.49 Chia. Now, if we take the plotting speed down, we'll take it down to gigs, 100, and also do 204. That's only 5 Chia. So it takes a significant... So basically, the faster you can print your cards, the quicker you'll have a turnaround time on those winnings. So your expected time is to change on that, right? So, let's say that you go hog wild and you don't buy 16 terabytes. Let's say you go, I would consider a little too overboard, 
and you go with 150 terabytes. Now, that's a lot of space. You're, you would be able to score 64 Chia. Now, without using a plotting service or using a lot of machines in parallel, you're, uh, let's see if you're able to maintain that 64 Chia over six months. And we go to 204. And no, we'd only get six. And we haven't even finished plotting yet. So where do we finish plotting? We finish plotting on... Yeah, on six, six or five, sixteen, twenty, twenty-three. So you can see how important plotting speed is uh, to get your earnings. Because even if you just had all the storage, but you couldn't get it plotted because of the network growth rate, you are just losing money. Uh, or, or I should say, you're losing chia that are being left on the table because I really can't say what the exchange rate's going to be. So. This is why a lot of people are turning to plotting services, so that way they can get their plots before everyone else, and doesn't require an investment of $1,500 machines that can do the plotting. So if you've got the machine laying around, go ahead and do it. Now, a Ryzen 5 system with an NVMe setup will be able to get you about five plots a day. Um, or Yeah, so five, about five plots a day. So five plots a day times 101 basically puts us at about a half gig so 600 gigs a day right so if we did 600 gigs a day and let's shrink our thing back down to six months uh we don't even have it plotted yet we finish plotting and i know you can't see it here so let me drag this down so you uh you <laughs> you finish plotting uh, on uh, 1 18 20 22. So you will finish plotting next year your 150 terabytes of space because you're only doing a half, you know, terabyte a day, right? So you've got to make these numbers massage these numbers to begin to make sense. And again, your network hash, your network growth rate here is constantly going up, which means your earnings are constantly going down. So you have to uh, keep this in mind when you're planning your chia rig when you are planning uh, getting into it now to maintain the network to maintain your plotting you don't need a lot of plot space you just need like a laptop and if that's all you have just a laptop and you have like you know 40 uh 12 terabyte drives laying around so you have 50 60 terabytes or so 60 terabytes on your Ryzen machine, you could do it. Uh, you'd be done by 8, 12, 21. So that would be pretty good. Take you a few months. You can absolutely do it yourself. But now imagine you have my plotting type capabilities. What does that do to your numbers? So you go from 33, 21 to 33. So there is a pretty big difference uh, when it comes to your Chia. And right now, something we want to keep in mind is that the day that I'm making this video, she is not worth $20, it's worth $1,166. So, we put it in terms of this. And the difference is, uh, if you could do a half terabyte a day, you'd make $24,000, which is still great. Now, let's say you can plot at eight terabytes a day. You make $40,000, $39,000. So, you can basically double the amount of chia you have available to you or a good percentage uh, that is the advantage of paying for someone to do your plots because the entire thing is a risk anyway uh, obviously none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor uh, but it is something interesting to look at the numbers and massage these numbers into something that begins to make sense now we have we are capable of doing 870 plots so we'll just get an idea of how much space that is so we can do 86 terabytes that's what we have here so 86 terabytes and we plot at eight terabytes uh what is our potential earnings after six months uh, after one month after six months uh we wanted zero because we want to go up to it right so we're gonna be done plotting in like 10 days right so 10 days 11 days <laughs> we're done right we don't even have enough storage to justify the amount of plotting space we bought. But the difference is 
here is forty-four thousand dollars versus our current speed, which is like two terabytes. So that would be that would be like four machines running, right? Or one, you know, one Ryzen machine running. Or two, three, four, four ter. Yeah, four. So we'd be out like a month versus ten days, and our profit potential is much different. So, yeah. So there we go. I mean, we score four more chia just by having it done faster by getting a month ahead of the competition so just wanted to go over how you massage these numbers into making sense how maybe on your build your uh farmer your plotter uh what begins to make sense and if it makes sense for you to pay for plots because if you don't have a gaming machine laying around that has this type of plotting power um, maybe it makes sense to buy it from a service that can plot it for you and just plug it in and go. So that's some stuff to think about after, you know, Chia 103. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a Chia 104 or 105. Those will be fun uh, ideas to think about in the future. But that's all I've got for you today on Chia 103. Uh, you know, maybe maybe there'll be a four. Maybe there'll be a five. Who knows? Enjoy your day. So I guess I'm signing out. <laughs>